Hi, I'm Steve with Antares Tile out of Boulder, Colorado. Um, so this project that I'm going to be doing this week, I'm going to be installing the new retro drain which fits right on top of the subfloor. This is a Home Depot trough drain that's meant for exterior use and draining around driveways and sidewalks. And the guy thought it was going to be a great idea to put a linear drain in here and it all leaked and it's a real mess. The tile wasn't installed that long ago. The customer wants to keep the wall tile and keep the floor tile. And I'm just going to be installing the new drain and resetting the pan. I am going to be tiling over the tile on the walls. Um, so for right now, I'm going to be doing the tear out and get all of my slope and waterproofing. And um, I'll take you through it step by step. But this is really quite a mess. So I have the old drain removed. I have blocking in here to make up for the subfloor that's missing. Um, I'm going to lay my new subfloor on here. I've got quarter inch backer board that's going to go over the whole area and butt up and, and lay on top of this little piece that I have here to even everything out. And then I'll work on my drain installation, waterproofing. So I have my backer board installed, thin set down and screwed down. I'm dry fitting my slope panels. Because this floor is existing and I'm trying to match up to it, I'm being extremely critical as to the height of my drain and the cover and how it's all going to fit here and how all of this is going to be high enough. The drain you're going to throw thin set underneath and you're just going to push it down and smush it into place so that it's the proper height in uh, standard in regular situations it's going to be the same height from one side to the other because you're using the same tile on both sides and it's not an issue but because I'm trying to match up to this I'm taking a little more care to make sure that everything is going to be at the right height when I smush it down where my tile is going to fit and like that so I'm going to go ahead and, and um, thin set down my slope panels and I'll be ready for waterproofing so I have these down with thin set. I'm ready for waterproofing now. This is a tile over tile project. So I'm going to be running my waterproofing like this and up the wall. Um, my pay makes a product that you paint over the tile that gives a tooth that makes your thin set adhere to it better. I'll be painting that on after all of my waterproofing. I'm going to run my waterproofing up this lip and just run it proud and take and cut that with a box knife when I'm all finished. I have tile edging that's going to go against there. Um, I'll run this to here and another piece over the edge. Tape all of your seams that you have in your um, board. And I'm going to get one coat of waterproofing on all of this tonight. Let it dry overnight. Put a second coat on tomorrow. And this is the pan after the first coat. I'm going to let this dry overnight, put a second coat on it, and I should have a waterproof pan for a tile. Um, and then I'll be setting the drain and then ready for tile. So in your kit with the drain, you're going to get this butyl tape, the collar that goes around your down drain, and this modified polyurethane sealant. And the idea is that um, the thin set that you set the drain in doesn't adhere well to stainless. So you will use this um, polyurethane sealant around this collar to the drain. You will peel the tape off of the butyl tape and stick that onto the stainless before you set your drain in place on thin set. So I have my thin set in place. I put a a serious bead of the poly modified polyurethane sealant around here that's going to adhere to this. I'm using the um, Schluter type edging that comes with this, but I couldn't get it underneath this existing tile, so I have it underneath the drain and underneath this membrane. I'm going to put some more polyurethane under here, make sure that everything is sealed, watertight. This is going to be my crucial area here before I set the drain in place. So I made a little error in my installation here. 
you want to be sure that this drain is sitting absolutely flat on from your slope to where your subfloor, where your um, other tile is going to be. Because I'm retrofitting this into existing tile, I had a notch underneath here. My slope stopped here. I figured I could fill all of this in with thin set and set the drain on top of it since I didn't know exactly how level it was going to be to this. In the future, you're better off to run your slope to your drain Take your quarter inch backer board, butt it up against your slope and run that into the rest of your room and do all of your waterproofing under that. Because of the way the drain cover fits, there is always going to be a little bit of water between your drain body and your schluter, your tile edging or the edge of your tile, however you decide to do it because the drain cover wraps around the outside of this. So I've left a trough in here that water may be able to seep down into. Granted, it's all waterproofed in that trough, but I don't want to leave a puddle anywhere in here. So I'm going to go, I went to some extra thing. I've put some um, floor leveler in here. I'm going to seal all of this so that water can't get underneath my drain and um, that will establish that water integrity and keep any water from getting underneath the drain. So the final product looks like this after you've cut your um, drain cover down. Um, one of the cautions with this drain in particular, when you are um, grouting and if you're using the tile edging, you have to be real careful not to get the grout in the gap between the tile edging and where the drain cover sits. You'll want to mask that off. But otherwise, this is finished job. It's a whole lot nicer than what was in here before, that's for sure.